Hasbro Pulse Cons 2021 is already in the books for Power Rangers, and that means I have to wrap it all up, put it in a little package, and hand it to you. Right? Right. Happy Friday, Ranger Nation. Let's talk Pulse Con. So, PulseCon was amazing. I got to be on the fan wall. Thank you, thank you so much to everybody who supported me over the years and helped make that possible. Uh, I freaked out, I was hyperventilating whenever I got the email, and uh, thank you all so much. Uh, I haven't gotten the big swag box. I maybe, I think I may have been further down the lip, but maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll get it. Anywho, let's just find out. We started uh, with the fan wall real quick. Oh, hi, that was me. I, that was me. Then. Of course, we have got to start with Dino Fury. We talked about Dino Fury, then we talked about the Lightning Collection, and then we talked about the comics. But honestly, guys, you know, pretty much everything we'll be talking about is going to be related to the toys because that was kind of the biggest stuff all that came out. But of course, we had to start with our Dino Fury Rangers. First time, a lot of them getting them back together since, I mean, it's been a few months since they filmed. They're all over the world again. You got New Zealand, you got LA. They were all back together. Showed us the bloopers panel. Uh, panel. Not a panel, but they showed us the bloopers real. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, it's just, it's so great. And then get to seeing the reactions afterwards. I don't know if it's posted anywhere yet, but I'll let you know uh, what it is. Follow me on social media and everything, at Ranger Liz. And you're going to stay up to date for all of it. So we got the Dino Fury cast together talking about the season and stuff. And it's a really great time. Just give it a listen. It's only like 25 minutes long. Uh, you'll definitely have some smiles on your face and Simon Bennett even joined in the executive producer he talked about getting Lord Zed back in the show and kind of like the process of that and how they had to find a way to get him back in and like the voice acting and stuff and of course we're gonna talk about Zed more later it's the helmet we're gonna talk about Lord Zed later but it was great to see him and then he of course he had a Lord Zed figure in a green Morphin Master figure over there as well as I can't remember the name of it but one of the toys it's gonna be seeing in uh, season two for Dino Fury, which also reminds me we're getting a, a new bike and stuff coming for Dino Fury. So this is a, uh, a, a American exclusive, whatever, but we are getting a new bike. We'll have some images and stuff over there, and they even showed us a little clip, technically, from season two, which we haven't seen yet. Also letting us know it was confirmed uh, yesterday on Thursday that has uh, season two of Power Ranger Dino Fury is going to be a Netflix exclusive. We did get not a, a date, they just said spring of 2022. So be on the lookout for that. Also telling us that we're going to be learning more about Void Knight and his history. Zato and Ion are going to find out more about Rafcon. And then uh, relationships between the characters grow in very special ways, which I really, really mean that by the end, Ali is going to call Amelia Honey Muffin for realsies. Oh, please let that happen. I I love it. I love it. So the panel and everything is going great, but towards the end, uh, Russell Curry got to show something off and it was sweet. And it, my friends, is the red lightning collection figure for Dino Fury. I think it looks good. He was so excited just showing it off. The look on his face, I love it. It just made me so happy. And I think the figure looks really, really awesome. So which means instead of talking about the other in complete order, we're just going to head and talk about the rest of the wave that's going to be coming out. So uh, for us, it's wave 11. They were kind of calling it wave one, but this is going to be the first stuff that's coming in uh, 2022. If you all see here, I can run around. You know, it's Friday. It's during the day. This is what happens. So we have uh, Zato. I think he looks great. Uh, Chroma Fury, Saber is looking pretty good. Like the paint on him. Hope everything just comes out like that. But he did have them all. I mean, he had them in package and he had them on display. So everything's looking good so far. Knock on wood. Second figure that they showed, or the one after him, is going to be the Zeo Cog. Now, we already had, we knew there was going to be a Zeo villain. There was a Cog 2 pack, and that was, uh, it was like a Pulse exclusive, maybe. But uh, the Zeo 2 pack, if you don't want the Cog 2 pack, now you can just get the Cog single pack. But here's the big, big thing about him. So if you're on the fence, but you're like, I don't know, I have the team, do I need the monster? First off, yeah, you need one villain but it is going to be coming with Rocky's Tanfa. So if you have Rocky already and you are on the fence about getting it, this could be just another, you know, increase for you. This is how you're going to be getting Rocky's Tanfas. Now we got uh, pictures of these in hand. We got uh, press ones. We got a whole bunch. So I'm sure just going to have uh, random images up there for you all to check out. But so far, Zato must get a cog for me. That's about a 75%. 
I'll probably pre-order it, and we'll see uh, if I keep the pre-order or not. Uh, speaking of pre-orders, if you want to get your pre-orders in, I'm going to have links. Again, check me out at Ranger Liz. I'm going to be uh, retweeting and posting once all of these things are live. Uh, most of it is all going to be going live at 4 p.m. Eastern, so this probably won't even be posted by them, but it's going to be at 4 p.m. Eastern for uh, Pulse Premium members, and then at 5 Eastern for everyone else. Also, um, an Amazon affiliate, if you use the links, yada, yada. So then they go over to Dino Charge Pink, Shelby, love, 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 Shelby, love Dino Charge. This is a no-brainer. I'm obviously picking this figure up. Her home, her face looks okay. Um, it looks okay. I like the paint deco on her weapon, though. A whole bunch of that looks really nice, the fact that she has that. She has that. Um, she's going to go great with all the other ones because I have every other Dino Charge one, uh, except for Riley. I don't, I don't have him yet. I'll get him. I just... I don't have them yet, right? So, Shelby, and then the last one is going to be Merrick. We're going to be introducing a new one, and that is Wild Force to the Lightning Collection. As we're uh, wrapping some up, I mean, Zeo Team is going to be completely done, and you're going to have your COG. Uh, my, well, Mighty Morphin's never done, so that's a, that's a dumb point, I guess. Uh, but, you know, they're slowly getting them, so now we're getting new ones. Let me know what you think. Merrick, uh, I, like, I like the head sculpt just because it's so, like, he... That is what people looked like then, and uh, and I absolutely loved it. So I think he looks really good. Paint and everything look good. It's a really, really great looking suit, and a lot of people were so happy that this is a figure that they're going to be getting. And that also means that we're going to be getting more Wild Force suits, which is a show that does get a lot of love that doesn't get a lot of love in the toy line. Uh, talking about this thing, uh, the, the boxes for it, there is going to be a little bit of a difference of a box. This time it's going to be for Walmart, so maybe there's a chance I'll see it. But uh, it's going to be this Art Deco look. I think it looks neat. If you want to see more pictures of it, go check out Power Ranger. That's what I'm stealing most of all this stuff from at PWRRNGR dot com or something like that uh go check all of them out remember when we had villains we still we still have villains but they kind of fluttered away we got uh we had the line then i was like okay we're gonna have eye guy we never heard anything more about piranha's head and piranha's head was one of them that we found in the listings now we are going to be getting him except instead of under the monsters line they're going to be calling it lightning collection deluxe I really like this. They're saying it's going to be a way for them to have more detailed or accessory figures, i.e. this is how they're going to be able to do monsters. I'm thinking this is the perfect way for them to be able to start introducing battleizers. Also, you think something like in space, it's huge. Could this be something or some instance to where we're going to be starting to get big battleizers as figures? Also, let me know uh, in the comments which ones you guys want to see. Boom! Piranha's head looks great. As I, as a child, I mean, Piranha's head scared the crap out of me. I was literally, like, I remember being at my friend's house watching the night premiere, whatever, and the Zords were being destroyed, and the most Piranha's head, and I was freaking out. And now you can get him, and I will be getting him. But here's the next one that's coming up in this deluxe wave, and that's going to be a Galaxy Glider. So, not only are you going to be able to get TJ you're gonna be able to get the Galaxy Glider. And uh, they did have the box pictures again, check out everything. And he even, of course, had to mention that everybody uses the Galaxy Gliders. So, you know, i.e. cough, this one sells well, maybe it'll do a pack. I mean, they've already released some in space figures, so I guess maybe like a multi-pack for them. I don't know. Um, the figure and everything uh, is gonna be the same for TJ, I mean, mate, it looks to be identical size and everything, and then you get the Galaxy Glider. Uh, take note that Piranha's head is in the normal scale of the monster, so it is quite, quite bigger. I, and now, I I gotta talk about these uh, these met retro packaging thing. We've already seen all the product stuff, so I'm not gonna harp on these, but these are the retro Megazord fi figures. They look really good outside of pack. The Honestly, I think the press photos and stuff just did not do them justice. I went from, if you guys know and you're watching the show, I was like, uh, easy pass. I'm going to be honest now, after looking at them for 15 bucks, I'm like, I might pick up one or two of those. They actually just look so much better in hand. So i um, very excited about those. But again, press images and stuff are already out for them. So uh, you can go take a look at that more if you want. Remember when I said Lord Zed? Yeah, let's talk more about Lord Zed. We got his helmet, and oh my god, I need this. You can be Lord Zed. It's got a voice changer. Kind of just rah, 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 your voice. Yes. It's huge. They said they had to even raise, like, the helmet stand because it's so much bigger. The top, the brain part, is, like, squishy. It's squishy. 
OMGs, I, it's just baller looking. I can't believe it. It's, I mean, I know we had the leaked stuff, but to legit see it in person was just, it was mind blowing. Uh, I don't have the details as of right now for it, like price, anything like that. Again, as after this post, all of these links are gonna go live, so there is gonna be more information, so please check them out below, and uh, you can get yourself your Lord Zed helmet pre-ordered. That was the one to me, just seeing it. it. It was crazy, just to see it like that. It was absolutely beautiful. And then they, te they teased, they teased, they teased us with the Zord Ascension Project. We're gonna call that Zap, because they're the Lightning Collection, now they're gonna have Zap. The Dino Mega Zord. Are you surprised? I, I'm surprised they showed because they're like, this is still not done. And we're like, like, son of a, like, come on, you know, you've had this brand for how long? Like, why? What is going on? Still taking a while, but they can show us this. This is actually a 3D print that has been hand painted. So please keep that in mind. They're like, normally we don't show you this, but we're so excited, yada, yada. You know, everything in the world is delayed right now, but there were really cool details uh, from it. Like, if you want to check out this image right here, uh, where it has the rangers, like, behind in the... And it's properly where they're supposed to be. Thank you for actually having that. Uh, it is going to be 11 and a half inches tall, so it puts it right in that 1 to, four, one to 144 scale. There's lots of other little details too, uh, apparently translucent plastic and whatnot if you want to see uh, more of them. Then then they do this and this kind of blew us all up. They're like, wait, breaking news, you know, they're going to something and uh, you know, sometimes you just say these things aren't for you and, and you, you just keep going. This is definitely something that's not necessarily for me, but here it is because it's news. I was like, what? What is this huge breaking news? Uh, Power Rangers is going to have an NFT. That is right. Uh, it's an exclusive Power Ranger NFT backed by the Wax blockchain that features a uni unique artwork of the Dino Megazord and its component Dino Zords all in their black and white glory. But because it's not just about the digital components, you can actually redeem this digital token to get it later. This is a very convoluted process, I shall say. Let me tell you how you can go ahead and uh, and get this. First off, it's on the Wax blockchain. I, I don't blockchain, guys. I don't know. I'm just, I do Power Rangers. Apparently, it's more energy efficient. Take it for what it is. Um, love them, hate them. This is what it is. So, starting today, okay, this is also only limited to U.S. customers. Starting today and only going until the 20. Fourth, this is a very, very limited time. You have to purchase this NFT from Pol. It's $199.99. You will be getting a Megazord, but later, right? So you have to purchase it between now and the 24th. Then on the 25th, you can redeem your code on the Wax platform. You do have to have a Wax account, blah, blah, blah. Check out frequently asked questions for more things. So you have to have a wax account and then you redeem the code between the 25th and the 31st. Then you have to redeem the digital token for the special edition Megazord between the 1st of November and the 8th. That's right. And you will also receive the digital token only if the NFT is in your wax wallet by 1051. So yeah, you have to buy something from Hasbro Pulse to get a code get on wax put in the code it will give you your nft and then you trans you exchange the nft or something for the megazord look it's 199 dollars, and uh apparently you're gonna get the special edition dino megazord with 10 accessories i i all five dinosaurs can be displayed separately or combined it looks cool it's just it's August of 2022. Let me know what you guys think. In order to get this, you can't just you can't just pre-order it. You have to buy an NFT and then redeem the NFT. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's what it is, right? That's what it is. Uh, not to, I guess, really say. I did say I would talk about the comics. 
wasn't a ton in the comics other than to let you know. I mean, obviously they're still going on. It's talking about the war, uh, the Altarian war that's gearing up, gonna be happening. Talked a little bit about uh, Zordon and some of the characters. I loved one of the lines he was talking about uh, the dialogue between Rocky and Goldar and how he loves writing dumb characters. And I was just like, oh my God, it's amazing. But uh, it was a really, really fun interview. If you're into the comics or you wanna get caught up, uh, it's kind of what is happening. He, uh, it was just, it was Ryan Parrott and the host. Again, uh, about maybe 20 minutes long or so, but it was a nice catch up as to what is happening currently in the world of Power Rangers and Mighty Morphin, because remember, they are two separate comics. And with that, I gotta wrap this up because I apparently have to edit a video today on a Friday to get to you guys, Ranger Nation, because I had a blast. Quick wrap up, man, we had got Dino Fury stuff. We got to talk to the Rangers. We got to, oh, the blooper panel was amazing. Then we got those amazing Lightning Collection figures, all of Wave 11, plus the deluxe ones, and Lord Zed's helmet. Yeah. Then the NFT stuff as well, but what I want to know is what was your favorite thing that was announced at PulseCon? Uh, you don't have to suck up and say it was seeing you on the fan wall. But if you want a heart on your account, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, my name is Roger Liz. I hope you guys have a fan freaking fantastic Friday, Ranger Nation. And if no one told you today, I love you. I think you're awesome. See you next video. Toodles.